Ready? One, surrendering your life means following God's lead without knowing where he's sending you. Mm. Glory to God. <laughs> Anybody ever been there? Yes. Surrendering to God, number one, it means following God's lead without knowing where he's sending you. How many of you know that is a very difficult thing to do? Yes. God, God tells you to leave the job. Oh, yes. How, how I'm going to pay my bills. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going what? To I'm going to that right now. Well, no, I'm not going to quit my job then because, you know, <laughs> your word tells me to use this time. Right? But once again, the Bible says, let go of your concerns, then you will know that I am God. If you don't trust God into the place of the unknown, you'll never be able to see that he is Jehovah Jireh, the one who provides for you. So until you step out of the boat, Peter, you'll never see that, 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 that God's word will be the thing that will keep you from sinking. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. So watch this, because y'all got real quiet. So I'm guessing that you are in the midst yes. of stepping out and yes. needing to step out into the unknown, but you're being held back because you don't know what's going to happen when you get there. Exactly. Do it anyway. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Do it anyway. I don't care what you do. it anyway. You don't know what's going to happen. You afraid of, of the of, of the of the backfire and, and how people are going to respond? Do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Come on now. When I was back in Richmond, we used to sing a song, Who's Got Your Back? God's Got My Back. Who's Got Your Back? The G-O-D has got my back. And you've got to understand that when you step out into the unknown, the G-O-D has got your back. Come on, man. Right. Who's got your back? God's got my back. Y'all say it like you're scared of it. Who's got your back? God's got my back. Who's got your back? G-O-D. Come on, G-O-D. Amen. That's your life means. So if you have not been following God's lead, when you have been called to a place that you may not know where, and if you had decided that, that you were not going to do that, then you have not surrendered your life. And guess what? You are not experiencing the power of God. When you are sick, that is when you find out that he is a healer. Understand that God is not a God who is found. God is not a God who is found. He is unsearchable. He is unsearchable, but he is a revealed God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Say, my God. My God. Is a revealed God. Is a revealed God. So you cannot search for God, but He reveals Himself to you. So when you are sick, guess what? He reveals Himself no. as a healer. Yes. As Jehovah yes. Rapha, your healer. When you ain't have no money, you may not have any money right now. You may not have enough money for certain things right now. But unless you have that need, you will not experience God revealing Himself as the answer to what you need. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. You Amen. must have that need. Anybody got a problem? Yes. yes. You yes. are right in the place of a miracle. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? A miracle it only means when God intervenes. So now if you are in a problem, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because God is about to reveal himself as the answer and the solution to your problem. So surrender your life, number one, means following God's lead without knowing where he is sending you. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 says, The Lord said to Abram, to Abram, Go out from your land, your relatives, and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Go out from your land, your relatives, and your father's house to the land I will show you. Watch this. Leave everybody you know. Leave everybody you know. I'm not telling you where you're going. I'll show you when you get there. When you get there, you will know that you have arrived. But watch this. You're trusting God into the unknown. A miracle follows out. A blessing follows out. He says, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. So right here, this is what surrendering to God means. To, to now trust in God, yes. even when you don't know where he's sending you. Yes. So yes, at first it seems like it's going to be a major inconvenience. Oh my God. It isn't that, watch this, living this Christian life, and I, I, I posted something about leadership, but living a Christian life means, if we go back to Isaiah 42, that God says that you will be a covenant for my people. <clears throat> that you will represent all these things that are in my character to these people who are lost. So now it's not about us. Say it's not about me. It's not about me. Say it's about being a blessing. It's about being a blessing. To others. To others. So it's this Christian life is about being inconvenience for the good of God's people. 
Amen. This Christian life is about being inconvenienced for the good of God's people. Yes. Yeah. And when you allow yourself as a Christian to be inconvenienced for the good of God's people, God says, I will make you into a great nation. Oh, say amen to that. Amen. amen. Into a great nation, I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Yeah. Mm. Look at somebody say, you're such a blessing. You're such a blessing.